Jesus fucking Christ, I already- I j only just started this playthrough, this is part three, and already I'm dealing with stupid. What, what is going on here? Why can't I- alright. I, like, I don't know, like, in the very first video, you know, I, I announced that I showed the title screen, it's called Final Fantasy Adventure, and I explained how it's called different things in different parts of the world, I explained how part of the Mana series, and that um, Sword of Mana is a remake of this, and how Secret of Mana was the sequel. I... I, I explained how in... Oh, God. I mean, wow. I explained how in Japan it's called Holy Sword Legend, or Seiken Densitsu, and how in Europe it's called Mystic Quest. I mean, I went over that. And on part two, I get this less than stellar individual who comments saying, Oh yeah, I remember this game, but it's not called Final Fantasy Adventure, it's called Mystic Quest. Like, wow, man, fuck you. Oh, I gotta- oh, no. Oh, you gotta actually equip the key. The bronze key. Alright. It is dungeon time, so this is this guy who looks like a red mage, talk to him. Your friend is missing? Many girls have disappeared in that place. They must be kept in the caskets at the basement. Yeah, makes sense, why not? Looking for the mirror? Do you want me to help? Uh, I said I was looking for... Uh, whatever, yeah, sure, you could help. So this guy follows you, and he shoots fireballs or something. Let's see, I forget what happens when you ask him. Some walls may be broken with uh, Morningstar Medic. Okay. Uh, those walls sound different when you hit them. So he just gives you a hint. It's kinda... I think you go up first. That's the way I remember it. By the way, it doesn't matter if he kills the enemies or if you kill them. You still get experience and gold, so... Honestly, I'd be lucky if he kills shit, because, you know, he's random. So just hit that, and it makes the staircase appear. I think I'm going the right way. There's two whip paths you gotta take, and you gotta do both of them, but... I can't remember if you had to do them in a particular order or not. Oh, man, I should kill that thing, too. Come on! Yeah, fuck you. Alright. In we go! Well, if I hit a dead end, I'll know that I went the wrong way. I'm pretty sure that I used the Maddox here. And I'll show you his advice. You hit the wall and you can see it makes that dit dit sound. So I can go ahead and equip a Maddox here. To get through that. Oh yeah, this is where I had to go. See, those icy blocks, you can only pass them one way. So you get a sickle, which is a uh, new weapon. Let's see. Uh, not only is it stronger. Oh, I just wasted Matic. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me just like equip candy or something. Matter of fact, I should use a piece. You can cut plants with the sickle. And attacks all around you. The special attack is just the same as a regular attack, except it's bigger and more powerful. You know. Um. So there you go. So now you basically you need that to get through the other part. So I was, I was correct in going this way first. Alright. I don't know what's up with these enemies. They're like fucking freaky. You got like guys that look like leavers from Legend of Zelda and then these like floating demon fish assholes. And Alright, I'm getting my ass kicked here. Unfortunately, like you don't like, it doesn't say like candy times eight. Like, like each candy you have to equip it separately. It's kind of a pain in the ass. Man, that didn't even heal me all the way. Candy sucks. It beats dying, though. There's that. Oh, shit, I just got poisoned. Alright. No sense in healing. Well, actually, I might have a something to stop it. Yeah, I have some cures. Alright. Alright. Cure. Alright. There we go. That's better than candy. Alright, so we're gonna go down this way. Yeah, see, this seems like it's, like, nothing, but if you, um, you see that there's a spot for a Matic there, so I'm gonna take my Matic out. I only have four uses left. Like I said, you could always buy more and whatnot. Skeleton guys sometimes drop keys, I believe. Yeah, they just did, too. Alright, yeah, you need a key to get through there, which is good because I just found one, but first I wanna... Well, actually... You know what, now that I think of it, I may not want to go up there first. Let me check that out. Oh, there's a Maddox. See, that's cool. Let me... Look at the keys. Keys and Maddox are two things that you really, uh, 
never want to really run out of, so. As you can see, even though those enemies are immune to the sickle, they could still be killed by the, the guy that's following me. They never give him a name, he's just man. Oh, I fucked that up, didn't I? Look at that, I screwed up my whole pattern and everything. Oh well, I thought I really cared that much. Oh yeah, okay, I remember this. You gotta push the empty treasure chest onto there. And that brings that up, but... Try to remember if I want to go through here. I, oh, I think this is like a place that heals you, actually. Yeah, see. So there's that, you know. I think it heals up your magic, too, but uh, I had just leveled, so kind of unimportant. When you have enemies like the bouncy blobs that you can't kill with your normal weapon, you could kind of hang out and hope his fireballs hit it, but I find that to generally not be really all that worth it, so... You know, you're not going to have this guy for too long anyway. Yeah, they never tell you his name, it's just man. You know, I refer to him as the Red Mage, because that's what he looks like. Go this way first, alright. Oh, I know it doesn't open. I gotta beat the enemies first, but... And we also get an iron shield. See, that was worth it. So let's equip that iron shield right there. Is there no difference at all? Look at that. Well, iron's better than bronze. My defense didn't ra raise at all. It kinda was to suck, to be honest. Oh, you fuck lick. Right, I found a key. You never have too many keys or Maddox. Unless it's like filling up your whole inventory and you need other shit. Alright. Let's go this way. Right. We'll need to equip a Matic to break that rock, but first let's kill all these shit fucks. Try to use up one before you move on to the other, you know. This couldn't be simpler. Just move across the vines, real easy. Ow! Myself. This may be taking a shit fucking load of damage, man. Of like straight areas like that, because he pretty much can't miss. He probably can, but you know, whatever. These breakable. There's a feeling about the room. No, okay. Those thorns, I'm pretty sure you can chop them down with the axe, but that's key. Yeah. There's not too much of a point to that. Well, get out of key now. It's tedious sometimes to switch between keys and Maddox, but it's not too bad. Alright, let's see if I can remember how to... Yeah, you do that, and then you bring out a Maddox. Use that there. And, uh, there you go. Leveled up, too. I'm not going to be able to fix this. Well, let's see. I might be able to do it in a couple. I'll do Wisdom first. All right, and then if I do Power next, that should even it out, I think. And you break that and you hit that. Automatic. Am I wrong? But you just... Hmm. Yeah, the Ackerman happened before. It was weird. Alright, about to fight a boss, I believe. Yeah, two-headed dragon, just like in uh, Final Fantasy III. The NES one, that is. I mean, I... Oh, no, 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 no. I want the, heal, the cure spell. Which should be called a heal spell. Because that's what it is. It's not a cure spell. You're not curing anything. You're healing wounds. Even if you're not hitting him, try and... Stay somewhat level so that hopefully the schmuck can hit him. Without a schmucky red mage, this might take a really long time. There are a lot of, like, monsters from Final Fantasy in this. I mean, obviously the guy looks like a red mage. This particular boss is two-headed dragon, which, like, in three. There's other similar bosses, too. You know. Especially the three NES games, Final Fantasy 1, 2, and 3. 
I hit him there. One thing, if you notice, I am blocking those with my shield. I mean, even if your defense doesn't go up from being a better shield, at the very least, uh, you can block more things. So there's the Magic Book of Fire, so I can now cast a fire spell, which isn't that useful, but there you go. And there's the mirror. Show it to the guy at Ketz. He'll scream and show his true colors. Bye. <laughs> Bye. So strange. All right. So it's weird because I just want to explain how weird this is. I still can't hurt those things with this. All right. Um, Ketz is supposed to be like, like, oh, fucking hell, I got poisoned. Taken over by vampires. So he's supposed to use the mirror on the guy to show that he's a vampire. Except his sprite is more like a werewolf. So, I don't know. It is a Japanese game, and I have noticed that certain aspects of Japanese culture have confused werewolves and vampires. Uh, you know, there's that. Now, if you're smart, you'll, uh, go, well, actually, uh, after I fight the guy, I'll, because uh, he's just like a regular enemy, you could go and uh, stay at the, the bed there. So, you know, he says pretty much the same shit as before until the end. Blah, 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 blah. Th that mirror that I didn't notice the whole time I was doing my spiel. <laughs> Halong Cox. See, to me, that looks like a werewolf, but whatever. Barely counts as a boss, really. As a matter of fact, you'll meet those guys as regular enemies many, many times after this. So, you just take a little nap, and then you get healed up. Which is always good. And whatnot. And uh, this is a whole nother dungeon, so... We got owls and pumpkins, which is good, because Halloween's coming up, and that's... Owls are not really typically associated with Halloween, but, uh, you know, they're nocturnal. They're predators. Sort of spooky, I guess. I don't know. Eh, through here. Oh, those fucking mouse. Mouse guys. Mice. Mouse. Miss, Mises to pieces. I hate the Mises to pieces. Ah. I hate those shit fucks. These zombies, I don't think I can hurt. Um, you know, like in a case like this, the fire spell might help. It automatically targets the enemy that's closest to you. It only uses one magic point. So. They drop ethers. That's why it's kind of worth it, to be honest. Yeah. Stupid pumpkin. Those pumpkins are dicks, man. here. I believe I can go to the right here, but before I do that, I want to explore. Yeah, I can, but I want to explore to the left. So there's a cure potion, which I believe is just like the cure spell. As a matter of fact, I'm going to go ahead and use it once there. But I'm going to go back to the fire spell because, you know, I might run into more zombies, like right here. Just make sure that you're targeting, like I said, it automatically targets the enemy closest to you, so make sure you keep that in mind when you use the fire spell. All right, so if I do power here, I, right now, no. Well, it doesn't seem to, I, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to like fix that, so I'm just gonna just do whatever. All right, go up here. Yeah, I believe this is a dead end here. I'm gonna backtrack. Um, actually, let me get my Matic out right now. I must have used up the other one that I was using, so. We got two new ones. They get seven uses and then they're gone, so. Keep that in mind. Fuck off, mouse fucker. Oh! No, you can hurt them with the Matic. That's not what I wanted to do. got here. 
Ether. See, those are, those are worth it. Alright, I'm at 15 minutes here, so once I finish this room, I'm gonna save it and move on to the next video. Come on, you fuck. Are you serious? GTFO. Alright, I will see you guys very soon with the next video.